Yeah, just one. Yeah. Don't want the camera center. Don't want the camera center. Yeah. So it's doing something weird. Doing something weird where it's more zoom. It's more zoom. The actual stream than it is on the camera. Than it is on the camera. Significantly or a bit. A bit. Like check it out. Like check it out. So right here on so the camera. So right here on the camera I could see the whole stage. The whole stage. Well I mean Well I mean you'll see. Oh. Oh. Oh it's because the, the view oh, is the view stretched is out. Stretched out. So we're only seeing Oh yeah. got you.
audio on the stream. Oh, okay, so you... Yeah, so I just, I just cut it off. Okay, so the microphone work okay? Yeah. All right. I heard music coming to speak about it. What's going on? I just shut it off. That's not right.
now, now it's, yeah.
Welcome to the Palmdale Aerospace Academy's 2017 8th Grade Promotion Ceremony. Will you please stand with me as we say our Pledge of Allegiance. Face the flag, right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. One more time. Good evening, everyone. It is wonderful to see you this evening. I'm Laura Herman. I'm headmaster here at the Palmdale Aerospace Academy, and here we are with our eighth graders ready for promotion. Let's give them a big hand. our students this evening, congratulations on a job very well done, and much more to come. You know, we were talking earlier today, and I reminded the students that the truth is, this isn't just about them and their accomplishments, because they didn't do this by themselves. The truth is, the people who probably deserve an even bigger congratulation then you students are your families. So turn around and give them a big hand, would you? Exactly. And there are lots of people that come together to make this happen. You probably don't think about it very often, but we have a board of directors that works very, very hard to make sure that our school is everything that it can be. And we have two directors with us this evening, and I'd like you to give them each a big round of applause. Vice President, well, Vice President, our Board of Directors, Mr. Mark Anthony Sanchez. And Board Director, Mr. Kevin Peterson. It's a privilege to work with people who care so much about our students and our school. And speaking of that, you know, what you guys did was important. What you families have done to get them here is incredibly important. But there's this one other group that we have to acknowledge, and that's our teachers and staff who've worked so hard for you guys. Staff, everybody wave, would you? I say it all the time, but I have the best job in the world because I work with people who care, who, for whom it really, really matters. And we have a group on campus also, and I'm not sure if they've managed to sneak in or not, but our PTSO group does so many things to support our students. So let's give our PTSO parents a special hand. I like opportunities to celebrate your accomplishments and to acknowledge the hard work that you've done. And now it is my pleasure, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I'd like to introduce the Vice President of the Board, Mr. Mark Anthony Sanchez. Thank you, Dr. Herman. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to the parents. Without you, all this would not be possible. Administrators, teachers, staff, students, this is for you. Today's a, a beginning of a new chapter. I know you'll go very far in your beliefs. You made it here, you dedicated your time coming to the school. You're blessed with a new campus. Are you excited? Yeah. I, I can't hear that. Yeah. Yes. See, that synergy, that energy that brings that to us, to your belief system, it's going to take you to a whole new level. Just keep being true to yourself, believe in yourself, and a little secret, I mean, you probably know, read. Read takes you to, reading takes you to a whole new level. So, said that, congratulations on your promotion. We all are looking at you. 
accomplishments. We're here to support you. So, the illustrious class of 2017, go for it. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker this evening. Please welcome Liliana Funes. Before I start my speech, I would like to thank teachers, parents, and faculty for not only being here today, but being the reason most of us are here today. Without you, we probably wouldn't have made it this far. I'd like to start off by telling you a quick story. In the mountains, there was a farm surrounded by trees. One day, something fell from the sky to a chicken coop. At the time, it was a small, harmless bird, an eagle. This eagle would grow up believing it is a chicken. He clucks like a chicken and pecks at a food like one. He'd float a few feet off the ground, like the chickens, unaware of the power he had, the power he was born with. The eagle grew old and outlasted some of his chicken friends, and then he saw a shadow. He looked up into the sky and was amazed by the sight before him, a bird gliding through the air with ease. What's that? He asked the chickens. One of them responds, oh that? That's an eagle, the king of the skies, but we are chickens and we belong to the ground. Don't worry about him, we will never be that. The eagle lived and died as a chicken because that's all he ever believed he was. Today we are in the midst of a milestone. Though it seems small now, it's an important transition to the next chapter of our lives. We can either be stuck to the ground like the chickens, or we should full potentials as eagles we are made to be. Not only in our grades, but in our social lives and relationships, our health and well-being, in everything and anything. As we enter high school, we can either set our goals high or low. Just as in archery, we draw our hands back release the string, and hope we hit the mark. Yes, we are scared of missing the target, but it is said that the biggest tragedy in life is not that people aim too high and miss, it is that people aim too low and hit. As we walk into high school, let's remember to take chances and hold our heads high. We only get one shot, so let's make it count. Remember, no matter how high you aim, you can always fly higher, promoting class of 2000. Thank you. Thank you, Liliana. I told you I had the best job in the world. That was great, right? Let's give her another round of applause. At this time, I would like to recognize our students for their hard work, accomplishments, and contribution to the school community. Okay, students, here we go. When I ask a group to stand, I want you all to stand up so that we can applaud. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. The headmaster's list is reserved for students with all A's in a given semester. Well, our grades really aren't finalized yet, we haven't printed report cards, I still, want to, I still want to acknowledge what you've done. So, I would like to acknowledge those students who are on the headmaster's list first semester. Students who receive straight A's this semester will be acknowledged in the spring, during our spring recognition, or in the fall, during our student recognition ceremony. Okay, all students who are on the headmaster's list first semester Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Students who earn a 3.5 grade point average or higher earn a place on the honor roll. Will students who are on the honor roll first semester Please stand and be recognized.
Thank you. Please be seated. The California Junior Scholarship Federation, or CJSF, fosters high standards of scholarship, service, and citizenship in the middle school grades. CJSF emphasizes service to the school and the community while fostering pride in scholastic achievement. Will the students who are members of CJSF please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. Students in our leadership class work hard on behalf of the school community and we are extremely proud of their efforts. If you were part of the leadership class, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. We want our students to be well-rounded and pursue a variety of interests. With that in mind, we had more than two dozen active clubs and sports on campus. If you participated in a club or played a sport, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. This year, we have two students receiving certificates of special recognition issued by NASA for their excellence in science, mathematics, and technology. One of those two students is in this ceremony, and I'd like that student to come forward now. For excellence in science, would Eddie Bonda please come forward? my pleasure to announce the 8th grade Most Improved Student Awards on behalf of Timothy Hayes Financial Crown Capital Securities. With their commitment to public education, the Timothy Hayes Financial Crown Capital Securities Group has provided the Most Improved Student Award to middle schools in the Greater Antelope Valley for over 23 years, and they've done it for us ever since we opened. This year, 72 students across the valley will receive this award and four students here at TPAA. The students who are chosen to receive the Most Improved Student Award are selected by the faculty. These students worked hard to improve their grades and understand the value of an education. As an incentive for higher education, the Timothy Hayes Financial Crown Capital Securities Firm is pleased to award these students with a certificate and a $100 bill. Pretty cool, right? This year's Most Improved Student Awards go to the following students, and when I call your name, I'd like you to come up. Christine Assange. Christian Stephen Lee. <laughs> Caleb Stice Horan. <laughs> and Elijah Ashley. Another round of applause. And now, it's time to present the certificates of promotion to our eighth grade class. Students, you'll follow the directions of your faculty as we proceed through the presentation of certificates. When your name is read, of course, you'll come up on the stage, accept your certificate, and shake hands with Mr. Sanchez and then our board directors and administration. 
then you'll return to your seat. So will our faculty please take your places? Can I invite our faculty reader to come up? That's uh, Profe Field. And directors, if you'll stand, and we'll get this started. Students in the first row, please stand.
Alejandro Fonseca Jr. Esteban Ramos. Deja Galbraith. <laughs> Brian Gamara. <laughs> Ernie Garcia. <laughs> Angel Gonzalez. <laughs> Brandon Gonzalez. Daphne Gonzalez. Oscar Gonzalez. Trevor Gonzalez. Enrique Guevara Jr. Daniel Gutierrez. Isaac Haley. Justin Hardy. Jose Hernandez Jr. Luis Hernandez Pineda. Andrew Hernandez, Ashley Hernandez, Cindy Hernandez, Neria Herrera, Leonardo Iban. Nathaniel Pila. Francisco Jaquez. Dane Jensen. Jaden Johnson. Ryan Knows. <laughs> Kevin Diabachin. <laughs> Emily Lapara. <laughs> Daniel Lascano. Christian Lee, Abraham Leon, India Lewis, Jason Lobato, Aldair Lopez, Juan Lopez. Carlos Martinez, Albert Megapishian, Jesse Mendez, Joseph Mendoza, Mauricio Molina. Anthony Marua. <laughs> Steven Noriega. <laughs> David 
Noyola. Gilbert Nunez. Maria Obregón Cornejo. Atlas Ocean. Jonathan Onofre. Leslie Ordonez. Ryan Orellana. Eli Ortiz. Monica Ovalle. Monique Padilla. Carolina Palacio. Annie Panduro. Derek Planeas. Jesse Ramirez. Jose Reyes. Rios Jr. Adorian Robbins. Armand Robinson. Yahir Rodriguez Ruiz. Alexis Rodriguez. Caesar Rodriguez. Alan Rojas. Isaac Rubio. Brandon Samayoa. Ethan Sherwood. David Solosano. <laughs> Caleb Stein Corey. <laughs> Renaya Sullivan. <laughs> Karina Toribio. <laughs> Francisco Torres. Diego Valenzuela. Zach Ventura. Jose Viera. Jacob Yeager. Ethan Saman. Let's give him one more big round of applause. Congratulations, <laughs> Nice work, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our program for the evening. Thank you so much for joining us, and have a wonderful evening. Good night. <laughs>